Here we go, everyone. Another night ride. Another night ride on the Mark Twain. Here we go. Oh, no, no, no. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Whew. Miss made it. <laughs> I was like, oh, not again. I was about to say, oh, no, not again. No, you got it. No worries. I got you. Right. No, just work on the stairs. Uh, like, oh, no. I was like, oh, no, not again. All right, here we go, folks. Mark Twain Riverboat 2020. Nighttime ride number one million. Whew. Here we go. Mark Twain is not just the name of a riverboat or a great American author. It also means the water here is two fathoms deep. That means it's safe enough Hold to on, see I'm our sea-powered journey along the rivers of America. On our trip, We'll visit the magnificent Columbia of the Great Northwest, the graceful Missouri of the Winston and the rugged Rio Grande. Mississippi, heading south and ending up down in New Five minutes for mansion. Not bad. I mean, for pirates, not bad actually. Dying there in 2022. I will. I did. Yeah, it's like it's day, but you know. We're now passing Bowers Harbor. This is homeport for the three-masted windjammer, the Columbia, the first American ship to circumnavigate the globe. Oh, but see, it's getting it ready for the storm. Not supposed to. The USS sailed for Boston Harbor in 1787. She rounded Cape Horn and became the first American ship to carry the stars and stripes. It's it not going to be too bad. The next one's probably going to be really bad. The most famous landmark in this area is Splash Mountain, named for the fact that everyone seems to have a splashy good time when they visit. Splash Mountain is part of Critter Country, a remote wilderness filled with tall pines, rustic buildings. Back to advise you and one of those tall tales you often hear along the river. The story is that the birds and animals that live here can talk, sing, and dance. Like I said, just another time. 
so we'll take it. Uh, back in the days where I just usually just sit in here and get something to eat. <sighs> now with more updated seating. While you're in Cricket Country, you might want to grab a paddle and try your hand at the Explorer Canoe. Once I get the GoPro set up, situation set up. One of those around the river. Me, I'll take the comfort of the Mark Twain Riverboat any day. Well, it's going to be very, very interesting to see what happens going forward with the renovate if West Princess and the Frog gets off the ground. Because honestly, I this area, I could see this whole thing getting rethemed all together. That's a possible a bayou section of New Orleans Square. I still don't understand why it's going to Florida, though. I'm still gonna say California version is gonna go. Well, I think Florida's will likely stay Splash Mountain or rethemed it to something else. That way we can get some variety on East Coast. Photo op. And there's the line for Rise of the Resistance. You're in for a real treat. I've been navigating these parts for years now, but I never get tired of taking in the breathtaking beauty of the Columbia River. Hey! Just the trees. The there's a the, There's a line for rise. It's all so I'm not gonna lie to you guys. That's so more than likely rise of resistance review is likely gonna happen in 2022. Because honestly, I cannot believe that that line is that freaking long. Hey Chief, I forgot to say it earlier, I'm sorry. I miss this so much. The Gully Wumper, everybody.
Now let's make our way downstairs. Just to sit down after all that walking. Off the starboard side is Pirate's Lair at Tom Sawyer Island. Young Tom always said he wanted to be a pirate, and I think I see why. If you're a pirate, you don't need to get up early oh, in the oh, morning and go to school. Oh, it's just a... And you yeah, never I thought have so to wash your face. Someone's still on the island. All you have to do is just look for treasure all day long. At least that's what Tom Sawyer thought. Civilization along the Rio Grande. Off in the distance are the towering peaks of Big Thunder Mountain. Rumor has it that the railroad built to haul gold out of the mountain has been seized by supernatural forces, and they've turned the mining trains into the wildest ride in the wilderness. Of course, that may be just another legend of the river. Just ahead is the frontier land where our journey begins. On behalf of our entire crew, I'd like to thank you for booking passage on the Mark Twain Riverboat. At this time, we ask that you prepare to disembark. If you're on one of the upper decks, please make your way down to the first deck. The stairway to the right side and the back of the boat may offer the quickest and easiest route. We hope you enjoyed your voyage with us and that you'll visit us again real soon. Thank you. 